When most of us hear the word courage, we think about some death-defying feat that we do, like jumping out of an airplane or skating off of something big, or maybe it's something super heroic like saving someone else's life. I wanted to understand what courage was all about, so I sat down and talked to a Congressional Medal of Honor recipient, and we had a conversation about his act of courage and what it genuinely means. In basic training, they tell you if someone throws a grenade at you, get down low and roll away. And had I done what I was trained to do, it rolled away and it would have uh, definitely killed uh, Robinson and Higgins and, and possibly injured some others. But uh, I think the biggest thing that comes to mind is do it for the right reasons. Do it because it's important to someone. Uh, it's a chance to set, have selfless services, not for glory. Uh, you could be a hero to somebody just by uh, listening to their problems. Uh, the president said during my ceremony that uh, our heroes are all around us. And it doesn't mean you have to be in the military or, or uh, even be, be recognized to be a hero to somebody. And I think that's the biggest thing is just doing a random kind act for somebody without acknowledgement sometimes is the biggest reward. What I love so much about Leroy's story is that in a moment, he was willing to sacrifice himself for the people around him, not because he thought he was gonna get a medal or win an award, but because he knew it was the right thing to do. And that's what courage is. And you guys have an opportunity to have that same level of courage every single day. But the reason most of us don't have that type of courage is because in that moment, when we're faced with a choice, we choose our comfort over being courageous. So many of us would rather sit back and be comfortable in a moment than do the right thing, do the thing that we know takes courage. And I honestly believe that's why so many of us struggle to have what is called courage. I think there are two types of courage. There's the courage it takes to jump out of an airplane or skate off of something really big or go on some crazy adventure with your friends. That takes a certain type of courage and we applaud that and we celebrate that. But what I would rather see is young people have the courage to stand up for what they know is right. I would rather young people have the courage to have a conversation with someone that they don't agree with with the intent to learn and understand as opposed to prove a point. I would rather see young people have the courage to do something in a moment that can drastically impact someone else's life for the better and not have to tell a soul about it or post a single photo about it. True courage is the things that you do when no one is looking. So many of you guys have an opportunity to stand up for someone every day at your school, but we don't have the courage to do it because we're worried what people think about us. A lot of us don't have the courage to tell our parents what we wanna do for a living because we're afraid of what they're gonna say back. Some of us don't even have the courage to be honest with our friends about how we feel or who we actually are because we're terrified that they're gonna judge us for what we have to say. If you can't have courage in the small moments with yourself, with your friends and your family, you're not gonna learn how to have courage in the big moments. It takes being willing to sacrifice your comfort in a moment for the greater good, for the bigger story. I truly believe the people who change the world, the people who make a difference, the people who actually do something on this planet that causes change, they recognize that no one gets remembered for being comfortable. They choose courage over comfort. That's what I think. Can that just be the episode? <laughs>